Hey guys, this is going to be Dark Souls 2. Uh, I created a character for Paul, um, and I found out what you guys are talking about. I can't see myself in the corner, which is somewhat disturbing, because I know that on the playback, you can see my face. So, I won't know if I have boogers coming out of my nose or whatever. Unfortunately, I um, started a file for Paul, um, and it was by accident. I, uh, I mean, it wasn't by accident. I was testing things out. I was testing things out. So I'll have to. You get a, you get to miss the character creation screen, but I gave him a pretty slick. Uh, gave him a pretty slick. Um, yo yo, give us something silky. Okay, here's my problem. Uh, that's my problem. I put, I, so I went to the crows and I got this, um, ring. The problem with that is that it makes me turn all white, but it makes me look all like epic. Um, you can't really see too much. I gave him a night wing mask cause I know that he's kind of like a superhero dude. Um, cause we all know Paul. He's kind of that superhero dude, and uh, so I gave him that mask, and uh, I gave him a bowl cut because we all know back in the day, uh, we all had the the bowl cut uh, as children. Um, gave him the red facial hair and the the red hair. He kind of has that like darker red hair, so uh, I went with that. Uh, I went with a build that had um, some pretty good strength. Um, Mostly because this game is difficult without strength. You just don't get to enjoy a lot of the weapons um, as much as I guess I would like to enjoy. So we're going to enjoy some of those today um, and talk about weapons. I actually traded a smooth and silky stone to the crows and I got this freaking huge hammer that I can't even use yet. But we're going to get to be able to use that. Uh, that's my plan. So, um, yeah, that's kind of. Oh, don't want to drop down. I need to get that item really quick. So, in my other play. Oh my gosh! Okay. In my other playthrough right now, um, I haven't beaten any of the main bosses, but um, I have indeed gotten decently far and as I was playing through that I kind of realized that the reason that this game became kind of so fun for me is because it's the summons the summons make this game more fun and I think in Dark Souls 1 especially the Switch remastered version there's just not a lot of uh, there's not a lot of players that are like helping each other out you know like you have to like make a connection with someone to actually get someone to summon to your world and this game for the most part you kind of start out and everybody you'll find people some summon signs everywhere and uh, i might actually play online a few times get summoned a few places because uh you get a buttload of basically free souls um and I like to do that. So let's go over here and pick up some items. I'm going to need some more endurance because uh, I'm feeling puny right now. So my first step that I actually was hoping to get through on this was... Um, I really would like to get... I think her name is Valen Valencia or Valencia or something. She's a sales perp. And uh, she's all the way in Force of Fallen Giants. Now I know a lot of people, they speed run this game, they go straight to Hyde's Tower Flame. And that's not a bad idea because you get a bunch of free souls. But um, I forgot to mention, I chose my item to be the petrified something and it's all right. It, it gave me that ring, which I'm gonna put on because it looks sick. Superhero mode. And I might have to play with this ring on 
for the rest of the playthrough just because it makes my character look like I'm some holy divine being or something. But we all know this is actually representing Paul, and we know that he's like a Super Saiyan, white Super Saiyan, red hair Saiyan. <laughs> and uh, anyway, I guess I'll just, that's the explanation I had to make is that why you guys got to miss out on my character creation because I started trying to figure out how to record this stuff and I don't quite understand everything, but I'm trying to understand. Also, my wife is getting after my dog. My, the dog like likes to bark every time we pick up the baby and I'm not sure like if the dog just hates the baby or if it's like trying to protect. And uh, dump, dump, dump. the thing that is actually really awesome about this game is the dialogue, but uh, I'm skipping a lot of it because I don't have time to do all that jazz. So we could kill him and get a pretty sick ring, but I'm actually gonna. I have to get used to this selection screen. This gives us a teeny like one percent more health. It's like a kind of a waste of a time to go get it, but we're gonna get it anyway. Okay, let me go get this Chica. Are you the next monarch? Awesome. So uh, I really let's go. Force of Fallen Giants. So I, uh, on my previous, on my playthrough, um, that I have, my other playthrough, I put this area into New Game Plus with the bonfire aesthetic, and I came over here to pick up this item, and it was a tooth bitey, what the, no. chest thing, what is it called again? I can't remember. Uh, tooth bitey chest mimic. It was a mimic, and I was like, "What?" <laughs> I had no idea because I've never really done new game on this at all. The only new game I really do is when Wade tries to convince me to do a bonfire aesthetic for the rotten, and I'm like, "Dude, he's already." I struggle with that guy as it is, and then he's like, "But, but you need to do it for all the souls," and I'm like, "I'm not good at this game. As good as like." I guess I'm not, like, amazing, but I'm not as good as, like, Dark Souls 1, right? So, because this game is, like, significantly harder. Oh, I almost didn't make that. That was sketch. Alright. I'll get rid of... That seems to be making me... Ah, uh, it's just the water. Never mind. I was like, dude, why am I slow rolling right now? Because you're in the water, dude! Get out of the water! Come here, you fiend. I wish that would kill multiple enemies, but then probably wouldn't be fair for them. I forgot how powerful these guys are. I know no one ever gets this bonfire, but I'm gonna get it. Oh, I need to put that on my hotbar, and it says Homeward Bones, why not? I didn't go get the ring of the stone ring, because I don't really care to fight that guy this early on. Really? Oh, it was my stamina. Alright. Let's go kill you, because you're an idiot. Didn't want to have to use a life gem on you guys, but... I did. Also, the fall damage in this game. Oh, what the? Where'd you come from? 
Fall damage is ridiculous in this game, so... You know it would be sick mod, and I don't know if this is out there. It probably is, and this is probably why I came up with the ideas, because I probably saw it on YouTube. And probably... I'm just being crazy, but... If they had... Like a Batman mod for this game. It would be sick. Dressed up like Batman. Come hither, my child. Now, this item is kind of a stinky item to get. Oh, I totally missed it. Forget it. Just kidding. Now that I did it, I have to do it. Stab in the back, round yon virgin mother and child. What the? Get out of my way, you fiends of the underworld. Are you coming up after me? Run! Run, my children, run! There is uh, some good items over here that I need to get eventually, but. Namely, a human effigy, because I need human effigy. That guy's freaking me out. Wood bolts, what a waste. Oh, what the heck? I didn't see you guys there. Excuse moi. Maybe uh, you should uh, announce yourself when you come in the room. Huh? Get rid of all these punkuses. And get rid of this punkuses. And get rid of this punkuses. And dive this way. Ah, Danielle, it seems you have joined us for the stream of the century. Oh, okay, might die right here. Go, 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 go. I forgot to give her the Estes shirt. I could just kill them, but I don't know what I'm doing. Sometimes this guy will drop his sword. It's a pretty sick sword. This ring is kind of useful because I don't have to see the nasty dead skin that often comes with such disgustingness. I need that key. Thank you, kindly. <laughs> I wonder where I can get enough souls to get that key. And why? Did I ever have enough souls to begin with in my last playthrough? These are questions that men have in their spare time. Alright, let's line this bad boy up, because this is the only way I know how to play. There you go. We're gonna see if this will do enough damage. On this bad boy. Seriously? Oh, you gotta be kidding. It's ridiculous.
So we all know that this item is way better. At least for me. I, this is like, I swear I used this item for like half the game. And apparently it does nothing on those guys. Is this another mimic? Nope. Small white soapstone. Ah! Holy rip, I almost just dived into that hole. I don't know why I thought that was going to pop up a bunch of summon signs. I did not mean to do that. That was awesome. Sick. Um... I'll take it. Titanite shard. Titanite shard. Behold the light in the darkness. Okay, this has zero combo moves, which kind of stink. That's the one combo move I have. And time to enter the darkness and slay this punk. You think you're confused, sir? Why not? Give me a little extra boost. I need to come down here when I have a Pharaoh's Lockstone. <sighs> Make a reminder of that, would you? Thank you greatly. Thank you greatly indeed. What the? What's that? Talk about freaky. My name is, you should go in there. It's gonna lock you in there. It's gonna feel great. I'll tell you what feels great. Slaying dragons. Dive. Wowzers. It's crazy how powerful everyone is at the beginning of the game. Holy rip. It's 
crazy how powerful I am at the beginning of the game. <laughs> just kidding. Aromatic ooze, just what I wanted. Pop. Pop goes the dragon, like in the sea, because you never know of the family. Let's think of memories of Paul. Um, there was this time we dressed up as Superman, and his costume was like ten times better than mine, which is totally fine. I don't have any like problem with that, because he fit it better anyway. But mine had like this creepy speedo, and his was just like so epic. And for me, I was just like, hi, hi, I just like Superman too much. Uh. And he's like, I am Superman. I'm like, I know, sir. Please take this, my only friend. And I became Dobby, and that's the end of that. Although, we did go to the movie theater, everyone was looking at us funny. Um, this axe is about to crumble because of unbelief. What the heck are you trading blows with me for? Why are you not, like, I don't know, dying? Um, I had, like, people were so confused as to why we were dressed up. And I'm like, do you guys not know Superman? It is epic. Do you not know that Batman v Superman is sick? And they're like, oh, I'm just here to see uh, Doomsday. Oh, I don't really know anything about Superman. And first off, I thought they did a great job. I thought it was strange that they brought Doomsday in. But for being a superhero movie about some of the best characters in superhero history. I thought they did a good job. Now we could go down and kill this giant dude. Uh, the problem is I get cocky and then I end up not killing them. But I think this character should be able to handle it. What do you guys think? use the giant hammer that I have no stats for. Maybe. And I can also summon people, so maybe that's what I'll do. Pate. Good old Pate. Eh. Alright. I'll summon both of you guys. This cutscene's way too long, so I'm gonna skip it, but... Uh, needless to say, there's a big giant that has no face, and he wants to kill us, so... And summoning two people causes me to not have great damage. Oh, and I died. And I forgot I could use... Some of this juice make things a little bit easier. Not that much easier. He's got his arm. He ripped his own arm off so he could... I mean, this boss is pretty metal, don't get me wrong, but... Um... You know? It goes down pretty quick and easy. Thank you, gentlemen. I love um, Cell Sword Lewitt. His outfit is sick. Plus, he has red eyes. I don't know how you get that effect, but I want it. And I'm going to have it. 
And I still have the juice on my sword, that's cool. It'll probably run out here soon. Drop me your sword, fool. No? It's kind of weird that there's no... I don't know what I'm saying. Like, you do like a heavy and a light, and you can do that in Dark Souls 1, like do a heavy attack and then a light attack. But it seems like in this game there's not that. Or at least for some weapons, I don't really know. Open up. I remember my first uh, playthrough of this. Um, it wasn't the Scholar of the First Sin edition, it was the original. And I have to tell you, I was uh, just not quite doing too hot with that game. It's a lot harder. Okay, I thought I could parry him, but I'm not the parry master. Mm -hmm. Come here, little child. Oh, he has a lot of health. I guess he is like end of game. I like Scholar of the First Sin because I feel like I know that people have issue with enemy placement, but it feels a little bit more natural to me, at least compared to the Forest of the Fallen Giants area um, that I only got to in the my first playthrough ever. Um, I only got like to this fiery area. And uh, I really struggled with it. Wade was trying to tell me like where to go and what to do, and I was just like, it's too hard, man, it's too hard. What do you know, Amber Herb? There we go. Grand Lamps, I'm gonna say, I don't know if I've ever used that before. We'll, we'll try it out. So the reason I wanted to get some more souls from that guy is because I need to send a Valencia home, but I want to get a soul ring from her first. You again? Lovely time. I just spent like so much money with you. Are you kidding me? <sighs> so I'm gonna level up my sword a little bit, or my axe. I don't know which one's better. Maybe my axe. And you have my axe. I open up. I might say that so many times. I'm sorry, guys. FBI, open up. I 
can't remember what item you get from the soul of the last giant. I don't quite have enough for this, but we'll get there. I go for rapier build <laughs> uh, no I think I'm gonna go with that okay I'll be around for my back. all right whatever you say um, let's go uh, grind a few souls before we fight the next boss so uh, we can actually do some ponage if you know what I mean by ponage to move that to be see this is what I'm talking about the online community is so active here it's ridiculous I need to switch my weapon too so I can actually do some bonage yeah hello Jupiter you crazy person Oh, I guess they wanted me to... Come with them this way. <laughs> okay. Probably want to go fight Pursuer or something. You never can tell with these folk. Jupiter. Forgot to give my Estus shard to that gal. I like to do this just because. Sometimes they want me to be a bait for the... Oh, okay, I guess that's not happening. I 
I love a good glitchy pursuer. Yes, I love when they redo that. They do that to me. That's awesome. The work hook, clearly not intended as a weapon, but it will be. Paladin, huh? Ah. Maybe they'll help me. No files. What? Yes, Paladin. No, you return to my your world? Bro, what the heck? Did I end up buying a... You guys are all lame. No one wants to come help me fight the boss. Okay, I'll get to Pursuer. What the devil? Why am I coming back here? And then, um, if I can beat him, that'll probably be the end of this recording. It'd be nice if someone wanted to help. No one? Anyone? No one likes me. Everybody hates me. Might as well eat worms. Okay, thank you guys for all of your help. I really appreciate that. Walked right into that one. Oh, I forgot to give her my Estus stuff.
the reason I think people's summon signs stopped appearing is probably because I leveled up too many times. But also, could be that my soul memory has gotten. Uh, my soul memory might be too much too. Um. Also, what was I saying? I can't remember. Oh. All right. Time to go pound some flesh. That was not well planned. I could have sworn I told you guys to stop doing that to me. Should have bought a mace. And I didn't. Why? I don't know. Why didn't I buy one? I don't know. Guess we'll never find out. Where's that other guy? Gonna gank me from the behind. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can pound some flesh. Thank you for all your help, everyone. Oh, this guy's cutscene's kind of cool. Maybe I'll watch it. Six sword just drops from the sky, and an eagle just. Okay, that's cool enough. Cool enough. Oh, okay. All right. I guess we're playing it hardball style, huh? That happens quite often to me. I was really hoping that didn't happen, but it did. Okay. Alright. Well, let's see if I can get summoned. And uh, if I can't, then I'll just cut off the recording. This guy over here, he's probably not wanting to help me at all. None of these guys want to help me.
Whoa. My controller glitched out. That was weird. I am playing with a Switch Pro controller. What are you doing over here? There's no need for you to fight these guys. This guy, I think it's my internet. It's probably glitchy, not his. Thanks, Salden, for nothing. Terrifying music, by the way. I should have chugged. <sighs> All right. This controller's a little glitchy. I don't know if it's uh, me. Solves that problem. A waste of space, pursuer. Actually, I don't know why I did that. This ring would be much more useful.
All right, uh, that is the end of this episode. There's Paul, looking epic.